Hello, my name is Anneke Lanes and I will introduce the program of um, Literature, Visual Culture and uh, Film Studies. Um, uh, this program is an interdisciplinary master's program run uh, in collaboration with another university here in Tallinn, uh, the Estonian Academy of Arts. Uh, it is a new program and this uh, has been developed based on students' interest. Um, uh, many students of literature here at Tallinn University have been interested in the um, interaction between literature and film. So in recent years many theses have been written um, about the uh, film adaptation or about some um, representation of some themes and topics in literature and film. Similarly, uh, at the Estonian Academy of Art, um, many uh, students have been, um, uh, many students of art history have been interested in uh, film or visual culture more broadly. Um, so um, there seems to be uh, a growing interest in, um, in the interaction of uh, visual and uh, textual media and we felt that it's time to um, stop separating these media into different um, departments and universities and uh, uh, try, to, um, try to look at them together. Uh, so um, this uh, program en enables the students um, to study uh, both literature, visual culture and film. I will first say a couple of uh, words about the practical matters and then um, when, uh, then about the uh, uh, content of the program. Uh, this is a two years master's program uh, of, with a tuition fee of 830 euros per semester. Um, uh, it, uh, the language of instruction is English um, uh, and it is a full-time uh, full um, studies program so it means that you will have classes from Monday uh, to Friday. Uh, we also have, uh, we offer scholarships uh, but I will say um, a bit more about the scholarships later on. Uh, so uh, what is this program about? Um, this program enables the students to study a relationship between literature, uh, visual culture and art uh, in the historical uh, as well as in the contemporary context. So we, we are uh, looking for students who are interested uh, not only in one of the traditional uh, disciplines in the humanities uh, but uh, who are interested in exploring um, the relationship be between textual um, um, between words, um, uh, still and moving images, um, in both historically as well as, well as in contemporary culture. Uh, and we uh, equip our students with critical tools for, um, for cultural an analysis of um, visual and text-based uh, media. Uh, so most of our courses are seminar-led courses uh, which foster an active debating and uh, discussing environment. Uh, we also have relatively small groups um, so um, we, we are able to offer a very supportive learning environment and also um, the students are um, able to follow their uh, personal research interests uh, uh, right from the beginning of their studies. We also have very international study groups with students really from all um, parts of the world and this international um, uh, student community is also a very active one. They organize many extracurricular um, activities. For example this year in January we had a, a dystopia festival. So this was a festival that grew out of one of, the, uh, one of their seminars on uh, dystopia and philosophy. Um, uh, literature and film. So they, they had a small mini conference uh, where they presented their um, seminar papers and then uh, they also organized film screenings in the evening. Uh, so next to these extracurricular activities our program also offers um, plenty of uh, opportunities for practical work and uh, we are uh, collaborating with major international cultural festivals here in Tallinn to, um, to offer this opportunity for field related um, practice. Uh, festivals uh, such as uh, Black Nights Film Festival uh, and the International Literary Festival Head Read or Hedrid. Um, so we think that um, 
uh, these fe festivals offers, uh, offer the students the opportunity to um, participate, in, participate in these high-level uh, cultural events as insiders, meet writers, artists and filmmakers and perhaps find a, a path for their future career. Um, the program is, um, is a research centre program, so it, it offers a possibility uh, to, for further studies uh, on the PhD level. Um, and the program is open to uh, all, all students in the humanities and social sciences. The faculty members of the program are, are composed of uh, the best experts in literature, visual culture and film here in Tallinn. Um, uh, at, the Stanion, uh, at the School of Humanities of Tallinn University, at the Baltic Film, Media, Arts and Communication School of Tallinn University and um, at the Estonian uh, Academy of Arts. Um, so a little bit about the structure of the programme. Uh, the first three semesters uh, of your studies um, are dedicated to uh, lectures and seminars as well as to practical work. Um, at the beginning of the third semester, you are expected to write a research proposal of your master's thesis and also choose a supervisor. And then the fourth semester is dedicated to your um, master's thesis that will then be defended publicly uh, at the end of the second year, usually in June. Um, so, uh, in the first two semesters, we offer two theoretical courses that familiarize you with uh, key concepts of um, word and image studies, um, inter intermedial uh, aesthetics, uh, and also um, uh, cultural analysis more in general. Um, then uh, we have a course on word and image in the Middle Ages and Renaissance. Um, um, this course is very important for us because we want to show that the uh, that, uh, uh, interaction of um, words and images is not only a contemporary phenomenon, uh, that it, it has been also, uh, has played an important part in, in the past of our, our cultures. Um, then we have um, three uh, seminars in literature, visual culture and film, which are thematic seminars. Um, so we are looking at different cultural media from a certain thematical perspective. Uh, these themes may include, um, depending then on the year, may include topics such as dystopian literature and film, emotions in uh, literature, art and film, autobiography and self-writing, a memory in literature and photography, um, also uh, post-colonial studies, um, uh, space in, in uh, literature and visual culture and so on. We also have um, courses on film adaptation and narratology and also then a wide um, variety of elective courses, on, for example on, on postmodernism and architecture, on film culture and digi digital culture. As I said, we offer uh, a limited number of scholarships. Um, there are um, merit-based tuition scholarships, which means that you, you have a reduction, full or a partial reduction of the tuition fee. And then we also have merit-based uh, state um, scholarships that are distributed based on your uh, study results. Uh, after graduation, so we actually do prepare our students for a wide variety of jobs such as um, researcher, um, cultural critic, journalist, art administ administrator, museum ex expert, even cultural diplomat. Uh, but we also think that we, our programme offers, um, more importantly, even a, a very wide, wide range of general skills, such as um, problem sol solving skills, critical reading, writing and presentation skills that open up a much wider range of job opportunities. And as I said, as a research-based programme, um, you had the opportunity to, um, to continue your studies uh, on the PhD level. So we, we, um, uh, our program offers all the knowledge and skills you need um, for, for to, to, to study on the PhD level. So thank you very much for your uh, uh, 
briefly also about the um, entrance uh, exam or the admission requirements. So the specific uh, admission requirements for this program uh, are um, re uh, statement of research, uh, then a writing sample and then interview. So uh, the statement of research is a description, a one to two pages uh, description of your interest, uh, then writing sample uh, may be an excerpt of your bachelor thesis or a seminar paper. And after you have, uh, after you have um, submitted all the documents, uh, you will be invited to an interview with the admission committee that then will take place via Skype if needed.